Thinking about creating a website? Google Sites is a free and easy way to create and share web pages. All you have to do is log into your Google account and then find sites at your top bar. If you don't find sites here, you can click more and click on even more. And from here, you can scroll down to the home and office section, find sites, click on it, and that will take you to Google Sites. Here is my sites page. It shows me all the sites that I have access to. If I want to create a new site, I can simply create a new one by clicking here. Now, I have two options. I can either choose a blank template or I can browse the gallery for more. By clicking here, it will give me access to all public templates that are available for me to use. I can search by category. For example, if I choose schools and education, this will give me a list of all the templates that I can use that have a category of school and education. I can also do a search. Let's say I want to search for classroom. This will give me specific website templates that have to do with the classroom. If I click cancel, this will take me back to my original screen and now I can choose either to start from scratch with a blank template or I can select one of the options from the gallery here. Here's where I will name my site. I will name my site my Google site just for an example and if you notice it automatically popped up down here as my site location. This will be the name of my URL. Then I can select a theme. I can select any kind of background that I want for my website. For now, I'll go ahead and select Notebook. Then if I scroll down, I can choose even more options by adding some categories such as School, Education, and so on. I can even give a site description here. When I'm finished, I can simply scroll back up and click Create. This is creating my site. Now, once my site has been created, I have a few options that will allow me to customize my site. The first option I'd like to show you is the Edit Page button. By clicking on this little pencil or Edit Page, that will allow me to edit the page I am currently viewing. Here is where I can type in text. I can also change the name of my home page. I always have to click Save to change my settings. Next, I would like to talk about the new page. By clicking New Page, that allows me to add a new page to my website. So here I can say Directions. Maybe I want to add directions on how to create a Google site. I can also select a template. I can select a web page, an announcements page, a file cabinet where I can store files, a list, or it can be my start page. For now, I'll just go ahead and create a web page. Then I'll click Create. And now I have an extra page. I have Google Site and Directions. By clicking Save, this will allow me to save my settings. But if you notice, I have a bar up here. This is very similar to Google Docs or Microsoft Word. It allows me to change my format and allows me to add different text, size, shape, color, etc. In addition, if I want to add something to my website, all I have to do is click the Insert button. This will allow me to add an image, a link, possibly a table of contents, and I can also pull from my Google Docs. I can add a Picasso photo. I can also add a slideshow, a Google presentation, a spreadsheet, or I can even add a YouTube video. If I click YouTube, all I have to do is simply copy and paste the URL of the YouTube video here and I can change the title of my video if I want and then click Save. If I want to add an image, I can simply click Image and then I can upload an image from my computer. I'm going to click Save and show you a couple more features. Next, I'm going to click on More. This allows me to open up more options in my menu. Here I can click on Page Settings. 
Page settings will allow me to change my specific page settings on the page that I'm currently looking at. In addition, I can also edit my site layout. This allows me to edit my sidebar. I can add a horizontal navigation bar at the top. This allows me to add a footer, a header, and I can also change the width of my website. By clicking close, it will save my settings. Next, I'd like to show you the manage site. This is where I do most of the setting changes on my Google Sites page. Here's where I can go back to my categories and add in more categories for people to search. And I can give a brief site description of um, anything that I would like to share with people who want to visit my site. I can also choose to copy the site, publish, or delete this site from here. Next, I would like to talk to you about the pages. This will be a list of all the pages I have created. So far, I have created my directions page and my home Google site page. If I scroll down more, I can also change the colors and the fonts of my website. It starts with the entire page, but then it has site header, content area, sidebar, and navigation bars, etc. I can choose to change the text color, font size, and the title font of any page on my website. And finally, I can click on themes. Themes is where I can change my background to my website at any time. So if I want to change the look and feel of my website, I can do that here. Let's say I want to make it seem like it's in the cloud, so I'll click on Ship Shape and click Save. Now, I can click on My Google Site to take me back to my website. And if you notice, my website template in the background has changed to a new theme. I can change my theme at any time I want if I feel like I want to change it. Finally, if I click Share, this will allow me to share and give different access to the people who I choose. I can add specific people's names here, and I can also change who is allowed to either view or edit my site. I can choose to have anyone with the link either view or edit, or I can make it completely public on the web. And by clicking this button, it will allow me to change the settings of who can either edit or view my site. Now I'm going to click save, I'm going to go back to my Google site, and now I can start editing and adding content to my website here. So, the next time you're thinking about creating a website, be sure to use Google Sites as the free and easy way to create and share web pages.